This is going to be a continuation of the Google Sheets tutorial videos I have. We're going to do another one here. This one's going to be kind of a fun one. So here I have my fake data set. And again, if your name happens to be on here, sorry, this is randomized using multiple methods. But I got some fake data here. So let's say I was looking at semester grade data for a group of students. All right. So I have different information here. Student ID, last name, first name, grade, course, semester grade. And again, I've given this tip before, but I'll give again. If you're ever looking at student data, make sure you have a unique identified value for them so you can easily filter out or find them. A student ID is a great thing for that. Again, this is fake data, not real data. So I'm going to go here to my filter. We're going to use a filter function here, but we're going to do some fun stuff with it first. So what I want to look at is we're going to kind of go back to this data here. I'm going to go and copy this. So I'm going to go. Click that one. I'm going to hold down shift, then click that. You see how it selects all those lovely rows. I'm going to copy that. That's control C on my keyboard. And I'm going to paste that control V here. Now, don't know why it's orange, but I'll deal with that later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a filter equation. So I'm going to click equal into my equation here. I'm going to type out the word filter. And of course, it's going to give me some options here. It's going to give me kind of some tips. So first off is the range. So what data do I want? I'm going to go back here. And I always have trouble selecting the one that's underneath there. So I'm going to select right underneath it. And I'm just going to stop here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the F so that it has another number. I'm going to hit comma here so we get to the next thing. But I'm going to say A2 because that's actually the cell I want. So I want to go from A2, which is right underneath here, all the way to the bottom of F. I don't need to know what that bottom number is. It'll just bring it in. Okay, now we're going to do the first condition. So how am I deciding what to filter? So what I'm going to do here is because I start in A2, anything else I start here has to start in that second row. So let's say I want to figure out what courses. I only want to know what courses. Uh, so I'm going to select down to here. And again, I'm going to just hit backspace so it goes the whole column because these two things have to match up. So it has to be A2 to F and then E2 to E. So again, it has to have the same number of rows. And so we're still in that first condition here. So instead of a comma, now I have to hit equal. And let's say I want to look for physics. So I'm going to use my quotes here. I'm going to type out physics exactly as is seen there. And that's the only thing we do for filter. Now, once I hit enter, you're going to see all the rows that are only the physics ones. So I can go back into that equation here. And again, I'm going to do chemistry. Now, this has to be spelled exactly the same as is in the column. And you see, I see all the chemistry data. That's awesome. So I can quickly do that. Now let's say I wanted to look at a different row. All I would have to do is change the column here again on the data set that's over here. Let's say what what column I want, and then what is my you know what's my filter equation here? We're gonna do something a little bit more fun with that. I'm gonna click another row above, and I'm gonna hit course. Because let's say I wanted to do this very quick and easy. Well, I'm gonna go up here real quick. So again, I just showed you how to use the filter equation. We're gonna take it to advanced level right now. So that was a simple. Now we're going to do advance. Um, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to now create this from a drop down. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to drop down. Now I have some options here and I'm going to do it a couple different ways. I'm going to go back to my data set here. You can see I look at my courses here. I could easily just type these in manually. So I could do physics and I could do chemistry. Now I do have a video that shows you how to do this, but I'm going to do a little bit something a little bit different. So let's um, let's get rid of this for a second. Uh, I'm going to go back here in my data set, and I'm just going to add some to the end here. I'm going to say unique courses. And then I'm going to say equals a unique. What this is going to do, again, we're doing a little more advanced here, is it's going to pull out all the unique values in that. Again, if I just delete that, it'll go all the way to the bottom. So it's going to from E2, that's this cell, all the way to the bottom. Hit enter. And those are all the things there. Now, you know what? I think I've shown you this before, but we're going to do a sort equation. I'm just going to put sort in front of it. So I go to my code. I hit sort. Can I see what I'm working up here? And I got to add another and see what it's going to do is just sort those alphabetically. So that's really nice and easy. So let's go back here for a second. I'm going to go to this and I'm going to edit it. Instead of a drop down, we're going to do a drop down from a range. I need to select this little box here because what this is going to do is now allow me to go and select the range. I can move this over here. So I'm just going to select my range, click and drag. So it highlights all those cells. Now, when I click OK, you see they're all there. Now, I could color code those, but I really don't need to for this. And then I hit Done. Now, let's pick one of those. Let's pick Biology. And I'm going to go back to my filter equation. Instead of having to type in the word each time, I'm going to go through. I'm just going to delete the word. We're going to select that cell. And that cell was B1. So if I type B1 in there, let's see Enter. 
now switch to biology. Now if I select this here, AP lit, boom, all the AP lit. So that's the easy way I can use the filter equation to get that whole list. So we're gonna do one more thing in the other video and we're gonna, that's gonna be the transpose function because you're gonna see that there's some things I can do with this a little bit differently. So I'm gonna end this one and then there's gonna be another video on the transpose function.